So welcome to day one of the Captain's Blog, this time aboard Far Horizon from Horizon Craft Acre, part of the Richardson's Group. It's the 10th of July, it's uh, one minute to four in the afternoon. We've just uh, had the handover, we've uh, packed everything away. So before we make it all messy with stuff, I thought I'd show you around uh, the boat and uh, what you get and everything else. And uh, of course, this is the first Captain's Blog that will be in high definition and widescreen. So you get an extra two inches of the rascal. Let's take you around the boat and uh, show you what you get for your money. Let's just take you through what you're getting for your money on this boat. You've got a very nice especial digital um, hot air heating system, also blows cool air from the outside, an inverter for your 240, a flat screen television, 19 inch. In here you've got your Freesat HD receiver and your normal digital receiver. You've got a microwave, the usual fridge, nice uh, worktops. Over here at the helm you've got the radio, that's a speed and depth log. You've got how much your full uh, for your waste tank, for your toilet. You've even got a water gauge, a fuel gauge temperature, domestic battery bank is displayed there, wiper, bow thruster, nice steering wheel, lovely position here. Coming down here then, you've got the sink. My only gripe is if the sink was the other way around, because there's provision for it, when you're cooking you could use the drainer as somewhere to put things instead of just reaching that extra bit. But otherwise lovely, lovely cooker. So there's the saloon. Only one opening window. Uh, the rest is all going to be through these sliding uh, windows. Everything is inset LED lights. Low energy, low heat, very nice. Through to the main cabin. Big up to Horizon Craft Acorn. The beds are made. Look, you've got lovely pillows, a blanket. This is just beautiful. And the workmanship that's gone into this at Richardson's when they built it is just amazing. The finish, the fit, everything. Again, loads of LEDs. You've got a nice hatch there, two reading lights. Here. In the pictures I actually thought this bed would be uncomfortable looking. It seemed to be very pointed. But it's not actually. It's, uh, it's a nice island double. Loads of storage room here. Again LED lights for your mirror. This is the other bedroom. Two singles. They do make up to be a double. Obviously this is uh, infringed by the, the helm above so it's a snug fit. But when you're laying down not to worry. Hot air heating outlets in all cabins in the saloon. And this is the bijou, but very nice, toilet and shower. I'm surprised they've gone for the old pump toilet and not an electric one, but then these are the old reliable. Nothing really to go wrong with these. Just replace the pump unit. Um, when you get into macerators and electric flushes and stuff. It is quite compact though, as you can see. Um, I know that boat heads are not known to be, oh, just noticed there, it's a nice little touch. Which, seeing that, then means that this is what this is down here. Nice little touch. So, I bet you're dying to see what's upstairs, so I'll go and take you upstairs, and then we'll be making our, we're not going to get to Roxham tonight, but we'll make our best. Um, that's the plan anyway. It's the 10th of July, you're watching the London Rascals Captain's Blog on board Far Horizon from Horizon Craft at Richardson's and now we're going to be going upstairs to the upper helm but this uh, just going outside here is your rear place which is as you can see lovely and then you've got this super super non-slip and uh, we've got the stairs wouldn't advise trying to get up these in a hurry it has just been raining, but there's your helm, and bloody hell is it high up up here. Just to give a comparison, there's your satellite tracking for your satellite TV, two solar panels. <laughs> yeah, you, you command the whole scenery, I think we can understand command the whole scenery, so I'm just taken in by the height of it. Uh, that's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze, uh, but anyway, 
I notice that our freeboard is getting on for three quarters of the way of the roof of one of these uh, summer horizons here. Tall old boat. I think it's about 10 foot 10, the uh, air draft on this. And that doesn't look like, when you're up here and you've got to get down there quick to moor, yeah, it's going to have to be the camera being put away. So until later, the sun is out now, it's five past four, um, I'll update you as and when we're going along. Uh, but we're going to be setting off now, and uh, more as it happens, as I say. So this is the upper helm of uh, this boat. I've just got up here because uh, it's just stopped raining for a bit, so a bit of kitchen towel to dry the seat. You have to sit a bit like this, I don't know if you can see. It's, um, it's an interesting seating position. Um, it's certainly not a good position to be able to get down in a hurry um, from, you know, mooring up and stuff. Uh, but I don't know if you can just see the kind of height that we've got up here and the views. I'm having to cover the microphone at the moment just to stop the wind noise. Uh, but uh, that gives a good idea of uh, just how far you can see. So we've come uh, from Acol, uh, we've turned left, uh, continuing on the Bure. Uh, the time is currently quarter to five. I've been on to Barnes Brinkraft webcam and there's uh, five possible moorings in their boatyard tonight. So uh, that's where we're making for. Um, and then we will probably go to the, oh, here comes the wind again. We'll probably go to the Thai restaurant um, in Roxham um, for this evening's meal. Um, so that's the plan and then tomorrow we're well poised for going to Roy's and of course the start of the, uh, the broadcast uh, which will be happening hopefully uh, if I can get everything set up um, and the rain stays off. Uh, the wind has gone up a little bit at the moment so um, I'm going to cut this short and uh, there'll be more later but uh, it's actually surprisingly quiet. Uh, it's been four boats we've passed so um, for July I think you know, it's pretty good going and I'm outside in all this horrible July weather with short sleeves on, but the wind really has got up now. And uh, so I think we're going to be coming in some more rain. It's going to be downstairs back to the uh, lower helm. Anyway, more as it happens. So here we are and the end of day one. It is five minutes past seven. We have made it to Roxham in Barnes Boat Boatyard. And if you're one of the people controlling the webcam, you would have seen the nifty bit of reverse uh, mooring that happened. Uh, so we're fitted in here nicely and... Uh, First thoughts of the boat are that it is very limited visibility when you're going along uh, because there's only one opening window, which fortunately is on the side of the helm. Uh, but the glass is very tinted and the white is very reflective and so the combination in the sunlight means that uh, it makes visibility a little bit hard from the interior. If you go outside, great visibility, but then the steering wheel is so close to the floor and the seat that it means you can't easily sort of move around and see what's to the left, right and rear of you. So I opted to steer from the inside to, to more up and it went well um, with the help of the bow thruster very well. Um, so Prisma Horizons in front of us, I'll share that in a moment, which is an equally tall uh, boat. This actually has an air draft of 10 foot 6, which I think I might have told you in an earlier part of this. Uh, so it's off to Roxham for dinner and uh, then tomorrow we're going to rig the boat with the cameras and then we're going to go down and hopefully it won't be so bad weather as we've had today. Uh, but that's all really, of course first days are never full days and we didn't take the boat over until a bit longer so today's day one of today's Captain's Blog has been quite short but uh, there'll be more coming up for your delectation um, as ever later on. So from Far Horizon, here in sunny for now, Roxham, bye for now.